So here's the latest project I picked up. No, I haven't made a video in a long time, but I call this project junkyard dog because it was used around a scrap yard for uh, I don't know quite a few years not sure how long but used and abused a Walden 6000 so it's small payloader I guess articulating four-wheel drive it's got Dana 60 axles under it uh, it's got a Ford four-cylinder diesel This is officially the dirtiest piece of equipment I've ever worked on. Uh, it's got oil leaks everywhere. It's never had a, a wash and it's, who knows, maybe it's whole life, I don't know. Um, look at that pump, that's a... Uh, it's a good sized pump, like look at that suction line over there. It's uh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Touch anything on this thing and it's like... So, anyway I brought it home, pushed it on the trailer. Uh, it wasn't running when I got it. Um, brought it home, put some fuel in it, put a new battery and cable ends on it, and uh, actually got it to start. There was no uh, no key with it. So I had to break the the um, key switch. So I kind of have to short that out to get it to start. But yeah, there's no one of the first things I gotta do before too much longer is uh, there is absolutely no fuel filter on it. That's an electric fuel pump there, but. You can see where the fuel filter used to bolt on there. It would be one of those CAV. Um, I'm guessing that was a single element. I don't think there's room in there for a dual. Um, one of those. But uh, yeah, I got to get one of those on there before much else happens with it. Um, it. Uh, Needs a lot of work, but uh, you know. So yeah, it's a it's a three-speed transmission. Um, hydraulic drive, I guess that would be not a hydrostat. It's hydraulic because there's the up under this front thing. There's a hydraulic motor that drives the. through the transfer case, I guess it would be. Um, <laughs> it's quite the pin there. A scraper. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got some tires for it. It's, uh, anyway, I'm gonna start it up. None of the gauges work or hooked up. 
But uh This is difficult doing this with one hand. Hold on. There we go. Got that propped on the So it starts like actually surprisingly well. Um, smokes like a freight train when you first start it though. Um, now, once it's warmed up, it's way better. But uh, got a self-leveling uh well if it had a bucket it would be a bucket but but yeah it's uh There's the hydraulic motor drives through the transmission, I guess it is. And uh, hydraulic valve, master cylinder. Had no brakes when I got it. I put some brake fluid in it. Seems to be working, so. Uh, it's leaking bad out of the cylinder, but uh, these things are loose, like, so I'm gonna try tightening these end caps up. Hopefully, if not, I'll get new seals put in it. But. See, like, already the smoke has gone away. better but uh It's a beast right now, but with a bit of work, this thing can be really cool. So I had uh, I had two skids of brick like that. I had one, you know, that had a bit more than that on it. I double stacked them, and uh, I tried to lift it. I'm guessing it was probably around almost 4,000 pounds. And uh, it would have lifted it, but it was just lifting the back end off the ground. So um, that's why they had this bar on here. I'm guessing they hung tractor weights on there. Um, yeah, I think they used to move old cars and stuff around with it when they used it at the junkyard. Um, Anyway, yeah, it's, it's a bit of cleaning up, a bit of work. Um, it's gonna be a pretty cool, uh, it's gonna be a pretty cool little loader. Um, yeah, I actually got two of them. There's two of them there. There's another one. 
Um, I bought them both. Um, I was going to use the other one for parts, but uh, I think I can probably get the other one going. So uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens there, but keep you posted.